Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, we're going to do a little update on what's happening with uh, solar cycle 25 as we are of course moving ahead with uh, the latest solar cycle. So uh, basically the solar activity has been pretty high in the past uh, few weeks uh, due to a lot of sunspots appearing. Solar sort of flux been hovering uh, 85, 90, 95, 100. So things are slowly picking up. Of course, it's not high solar activity when you compare this to a peak of the solar cycle, but we're still far away from that peak. Well, a couple of years away from that peak, so uh, two to three years before we really reach the max. And it's normal that there's ups and downs. It's normal that there's some quiet moments. But obviously, we are moving ahead. Uh, we've had a lot, quite a few sunspots flaring this week. Lots of little things happening, as you see here on this animation here. Uh, quite amazing. So um, if we compare, we are now almost in October. If we look at the last time we had uh, so few sunspots, so, uh, so few days without sunspots, sorry, uh, was in 2017. As you see here, 2018, 2019, and 2020 all had about 60 to 70% of the time without sunspots. We're at 22 this year, so it shows that activity is now getting better. And that also means that uh, 2022 is promising to be a year where most of the days will have some sunspots. Uh, we had a few flares. We had quite a lot of activity. What does it all mean once again? Um, remember, I say it all the time. So spaceweather.com, I'll share the web page if you want to go and check out. It's a great place to follow the solar activity. So what does higher solar activity mean in general? It means the higher frequencies will be better at propagation. But the lower frequencies, it doesn't affect them that much. Which means, you know, like 49 meter band is the 49 meter band. It's, it stays pretty much the same even in uh, changing solar activity. So it's really on the higher frequencies, you know, like people that love uh, amateur radio that love uh, 10 meters, for example. Well, that will be open more and more frequently uh, with propagation conditions. And uh, higher frequencies like the 60 meter band, 13 meter band, uh, 17, 21 megahertz for international broadcasts. You'll hear more stations on these frequencies in the daytime because of the higher solar activity. That's what mostly it affects. Some stations, of course, are affected by this. For example, in the past few weeks with the solar flux nearing 90, 100, uh, I've had the privilege to hear one that is tough here, Radio Thailand, in the evening at 15590. Um, KBS World Radio, South Korea, 15575 has been pretty good in the morning. It is an effect of solar activity, and it is an effect on these higher frequencies, as you see. But once again, do not, there's too many people I think that are over hyped that finally we're getting a solar, we're getting up on the solar cycle, things are going to get great. I think there's a over hype of that phenomena. There's going to be better propagation on the higher frequencies, definitely, but it ain't going to be miracles. Um, you know, remember that the noise around you affects a lot what you can hear and that um, you need to uh, listen at you know, the proper times per day. I say it often, some of the best DX I've had over the years was actually done in times of solar minimum. Um, you know, I, I when I hear somebody saying, well, you know, I'm going to wait till we get to the peak of the solar cycle to come back into radio, it's an obviously, it's obviously a person that does not understand propagation, does not understand how radio works, because all the time, be it minimum, maximum, there's always something to listen to. Higher solar activity also might mean a little more disturbed conditions at times, though. With the solar flux getting higher, with more sunspots, there could be, of course, more solar flares and geomagnetic unrest. That comes with higher uh, solar activity also. So it's not just fun and games and great propagation. There will be moments where it might actually be crappy because of the uh, number of flares and, and coronal mass ejections that will hit the magnetic field of the Earth. But we're on the uprise, and solar cycle uh, 25 is actually um, 
you know, becoming more and more clear every day with activity uh, on the rise. One of the, I think that the, the good indi- uh, indices, the good indications of, you know, getting higher is when the solar flux will constantly or most of the time be above 100, which should happen. I wouldn't be surprised this is going to happen next year where we're going to be above 100 most of the time. And uh, like I said, it's uh, going to increase mostly the higher frequencies. You'll hear more stuff in the 19, 16, 13 meter band. And of course, the amateur bands uh, will be uh, 15 meter band uh, and 10 meter band will be open much more often. Uh, So this is uh, the good side of solar activity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.